In this video, I want to share with you seven low competition evergreen food niches. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on Merch by Amazon and other print-on-demand platforms. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. So before I get into the, get into the niches, let's just do a quick sales update for the month of October. So last seven days, let me click right here, still under that 500 mark of 478. But for the month, I am sitting at $583. Yesterday, I did uh, 15 sales and $34. And today, it is um, it's 5.07 p.m. And I've done, looks like, 12 sales, sitting at $50. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I have a link in my description and in my About Me section on my YouTube channel. I post daily photos of my daily sales, also my daily sales from Etsy, Gym Picks, Entrepreneur Picks. Um, uh, cuisine pics, photos from Mexico, lifestyle, stuff like that. Um, but now let's go ahead and get into the video. Actually, before, one last thing, I swear, and then we'll get into it. There's actually a hurricane right now in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Um, that's where I live. It is 5 o'clock. It's supposed to hit landfall at um, 6 p.m. So right here, Hurricane Lydia strengthens into major hurricane as it approaches Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And if I just get this out the way, we will be able to actually see the photo right down here. So it's supposed to hit at 6 p.m. So in an hour it should hit. So wish me luck. Usually things end up being fine. But two years ago there was a pretty bad hurricane and did and did cause a lot of damage. But now let's finally get into the content of the video. So the first niche that I have for you, and these are going to be low competition evergreen food niches. All right, and these niches I really like because you know you know uh, merch by Amazon is just competitive. You know there's just a lot of people on merch. And so I really like finding these niches that are low in competition that not, not too many people know about because it's going to give me those, you know, regular monthly sales and those evergreen sales are really going to help just build your monthly income on a monthly basis. So you really want to have a good uh, amount of evergreen niches in your Merch by Amazon portfolio. Yes, trending niches are important too. We can get you a lot of sales very quickly, but those evergreen niches are going to be like the foundation, the staple of your account to get you those sales on a regular basis. So the first uh, low competition evergreen food niche that I have for you is cinnamon rolls. And if you're not from the States and you don't know what similar cinnamon, cinnamon rolls are, this is what they look like right here. It's like a doughy pastry that you eat for breakfast uh, with coffee or milk. And we're going to see there's only 420 results. And when we look at the competition, when we look at the third page, we're going to see that there's still only 420 results. And this niche is kind of a fun one to design for. I thought this was a really funny design, cinnamon rolls, just like my grandma used to make. So instead of saying, you know, instead of my grandma, grandma, so it's like a play on words. Um, but we're going to see that, you know, this niche is selling. Now, these BSRs are climate pledge friendly, so it's not the real BSR. They're probably more like these BSRs over here, like 7 million, 5 million. But these will get you sales, uh, you know, maybe one or two a month. If we go down here, we can take a look at some of the other ones. This is how I roll. I would stay away from doing something like this. I like big buns and I can't let not lie that is from a song so don't do anything like that but i thought this was a good one life is better with cinnamon rolls you know you can just get some clip art and just put some text on the top and on the bottom and you are good to go you'll have an evergreen niche that'll sell maybe once or twice a month if we go to test to see if this is trademark cinnamon rolls nothing actually pops up for the exact uh match or exact phrase so you should be good to go there and when we go to etsy we're going to see competition is actually really low on Etsy, only 746 results. On Redbubble, it's a little higher. We're looking at 1,600, almost 1,700. A lot of stickers. I always recommend that people use stickers as their thumbnails on Redbubble. It is the product that sells the most. When we go to TeePublic, we're going to see what some of the designs look here. And if we go to Creative Fabrica, you can just type in cinnamon rolls and you can get some clip art. Uh, for your designs and I actually found this one right here which is kind of like the ones that we just saw on Amazon cinnamon rolls just like my grandma grandma used to make and if you click on print on demand right here this actually comes with a print on demand special license so you can just take this upload it onto Merch by Amazon and hopefully get some sales so that is the first low competition evergreen food niche that I have for you it is cinnamon rolls and then the second niche that I have for you in the food niche that is low competition and evergreen is figs. So figs is a fruit, sweet fruit that grows on a tree, I believe. Um, there's only 236 results on Amazon. And when we go to the third page, we're going to see that there's still only 236 results. Let's take a look at what some of the designs look like. So just a girl who loves figs. You can also do just a boy who loves figs. Um, I grow figs. Uh, fig jam. That's kind of funny right there. You can also just take 
uh, clip art of a fig. You know, you don't even have to add text. You can see right here, this is selling. Um, this one has the climate pledge friendly BSR, so that's probably, you know, a little higher, the real actual BSR. But look at this, I love figs, pretty easy. You just gotta get clip art of a fig, and put some text on the top and the bottom. If we go to test to see if this phrase right here, I grow figs, is trademarked, we're going to see that nothing pops up. And when we go to Etsy to take a look at the competition there, we're going to see that there's only 1,300 results. Now, there was a lot of competition on Redbubble, I'm not going to lie, almost 6,000 or 5,500. Maybe there's some other type of niches or uh, things that are popping up on Rebo. Maybe there's fig is, is for something else. Um, so I see scrub life here, so I might have to do something with nursing. I don't know. But not the lowest in competition on Redbubble. But when we go to T Public, we can take a look at what some of the other designs look like. Here, doesn't give us the actual amount of results, so we don't know how competitive it is. Sometimes you can take a look at the number of amount of pages. So five, six, so maybe it's kind of like Redbubble, or it's a little more competitive, but we can see on merch that there's only 236 results. And if we go to Creative Fabrica and we type in figs, we're going to see some of the clip art that we can use. And these ones actually look pretty good right here. Let me just see if it's available for print on demand. So you have to check that off. And it looks like it is. Okay, so cool. So you get some clip art from uh, Creative Fabrica if you want to make designs in the fig niche. So that is the second one that I have. It is figs. This is how you spell it right here. And then the next niche that I have for you that is low in competition, evergreen, and in the food niche is going to be banana pudding. Um, banana pudding on Amazon only has 111 results. When we go to the third page, we're going to see that there's still only 111 results. And I actually thought this was a pretty good one because you could actually use this one for even Halloween. You know, we got Halloween right around the corner and you can do something like this is my banana pudding costume or pretend I'm banana pudding and you can put it on this yellow color merch shirt right here. Um, if we go to actually, let's just take a look at these so we can see that these are selling. Uh, they have reviews. I probably have to refresh it so we actually see what the BSRs are looking like. But while it's doing that, let's just go ahead and take a look at test to see if this is trademarked. And I did see one pop up but it was not in the t-shirt category. It was this one right here, banana pudding. In my course, I teach you how to read and understand trademarks. Um, so right here, we're going to see it's not in the 025 class. It's in cosmetics and, or in the cosmetic category. Let's go back to Amazon now to see. Okay, for some reason, it still doesn't want to show me the BSRs. Okay, no, there we go. So again, not the best BSRs, but they are selling. Get you a sale or two, maybe a month. And then if we go to Etsy, take a look at the comp competition there. Only 776 results, and I didn't even know this, but you know, you can buy food on Etsy. Did you guys know that? That's kind of strange. Anyways, uh, if we go to Redbubble, we're going to see only 123 results. So this is more what I'm talking about, better than the uh, fig one that I just showed you. So only 123 results. And if we go to T Public, see what the designs look like. And if we go to Creative Fabrica, we actually see that they have some designs right here. So banana pudding. This is funny. That's nice. Now shut up and pass the banana pudding. It could be a good one maybe for Thanksgiving. Another banana pudding uh, nutrition facts. Some clip art. And then if we click here on the print on demand special license, we will see the ones that you can actually use. So right here, maybe this one would be a good one. Get some good clip art. So that is the third low competition evergreen food niche that I have for you. It is banana pudding. And this is how you spell it right here. And the next niche that I have for you is raisin bread. And I don't know about you guys, but I love me some good raisin bread. It's kind of hard to find down here in Mexico, but I know in California, I kind of grew up on that stuff, especially with nice um, toast and some butter. Very good. We look at raisin bread, we're going to see there's only three results. Super long competition, um, but they're selling. Look at this one right here, 761. It does have the pledge, it, the climate pledge friendly BSR. So that's not exactly what the BSR is. It's probably more something around like this, around 7 million. But we're going to see, you know, it's selling very low in competition. It's not trademarked. Raisin bread hit enter. Nothing's going to pop up. Competition is low on Etsy. Only 351 results. Do something like this. You don't even have to add in any clip art. You just do text. We got Redbubble coming in at only 48 results. T Public, I think there's only one result. So this actually niche is probably the lowest in competition out of all of them. When I go to Creative Fabric, I wasn't really able to find anything for clip art wise. Like maybe there's some type of watercolor raisin bread in this bundle right here. Um, but you can just do text or maybe hire some type of designer to create you some type of raisin bread art or clip art. But that is going to be the uh, fourth niche that I have for you. It is the raisin bread niche. And this is how you spell it right here. And then the next niche that I have for you is the fruit pomegranate. Um, 
this is what the competition is right here 301 results third page we're still only looking at 301 results so competition is low this is what pomegranate is it's kind of a kind of like a passion fruit or tropical fruit there's actually a lot of it down here in mexico they got a lot of good fruit here in mexico um this is i like this fruit but it's just kind of a little too um it's kind of dangerous to eat because it'll stain your clothes pretty quickly but we're going to see this is what some of the designs look like now this niche is cool because you don't even really need to come up with any like design saying or any text you can just take some clip art it looks like and it will sell. You can see it has BSRs, reviews, so this niche is selling. Um, and this one can also work for Halloween. You can do something like pretend I'm a pomegranate, like this one right here. Um, and you put it on and make sure that you put it on a red color like this. If we go to test to see if it is trademark, pretend I'm a pomegranate, we'll see that nothing uh, pops up. Competition on Etsy is 1500 Here's what some of it looks like. And again, we can see that they're not really using any type of you know text. It's just the clip art of the pomegranate. So really easy to design for. Uh, Redbubble, same kind of thing here, all stickers. And if we go to TeePublic, looks like same thing again. We're seeing a similarity here where people aren't using text for this uh, niche. It's just the actual clip art. And if you go to uh, Creative Fabrica right here, you can see some actually clip art that you can use. So you can use these to get you some sales on Merch by Amazon and some of the other uh, print-on-demand platforms. Like this one looks good right here this watercolor clip art um, so that is going to be i believe the two four the fifth niche to have for you that is low in competition evergreen in the food niche it is the pomegranate niche and this is how you spell it right here and then the next niche that I have for you is one of my all-time favorites. It is deviled eggs. I basically grew up on these things, um, but it is probably the most competitive niche that I have for you in this video out of the seven niches. We're going to see that there's 649 results. If you don't know what deviled eggs are, this is what they look like right here. Um, but if we go to the third page, we're going to see that there's still only 649 results. So it is the highest in competition in this video, but it is still under a thousand results, which is my benchmark. Um, we're going to see what some of the designs look like. Take a look at some of the BSRs. This seems to be a pretty popular one, the nutritional facts. Um, I'm just here for the deviled eggs. So you can do like funny designs as well. You're going to see again, the nutritional facts. Um, I saw one. Uh, this is actually a pretty cute one. I'll take them deviled. That was pretty, that's for like kids, I believe. Um, if we go to test to see if this is a trademark. Now there's a trademark for a deviled egg, but it's not in the clothing category. So we're not going to see the 025. So it is safe. It's for basically snack food. When we go to Etsy, we're going to see that same design again. I'll take them deviled. Cute little kid shirt right there. Um, when we go to, well, there's only a thousand results on Etsy. For Redbubble, only 347. I thought there'd be more on Redbubble for this, uh, um, for this keyword or for this niche. And when we go to T Public, Deviled eggs, again, we're going to see that uh, nutritional fact ones. And let's see if we go to Creative Fabrica, if we can get any designs. So Wicked Chickens Lay Deviled Eggs, that's kind of funny. Again, we see that nutritional facts one. So you can get some designs, clip art from Creative Fabrica. Link is in the description. But that is the sixth niche that I have for you. And then the last low competition evergreen food niche that I have for you is split pea soup. We're going to see there's only 33 results. So there isn't a third page, so I can't even show you. But we're going to see that this is actually selling. I love split pea soup. That's pretty easy to design for. Now it does have the climate pledge friendly BSR. So it's probably more like this BSR right here, 7 million, something like that. So it gets you a sale maybe a month. If we go to test, we're going to see it is not trademarked. Competition is low on all the other websites, Etsy 252, Redbubble only 17, and T Public. I don't even know. I thought this was pretty funny, this one right here. Um, again, I love split pea soup. That's kind of funny. Um, yeah, so that is the seventh design that or niche that I have for you. It is split pea soup, and that ha this is how you spell it right here. So those are going to be the niches for today. Comment below. Let me know which one you like the best, which one you're most excited to design for if you're looking for designs or clip art for your designs check out creative fabrica i have a link in my description um, creative fabrica is only 60 dollars for the year only four dollars and 99 cents a month uh, but you get fonts uh, graphics ai courses pod a whole uh, a bundle section it's just a great value you know you just got so much uh you know things to choose from basically from creative fabrica i love for creative fabrica use them all the time um and then let's see what else if you are struggling to get sales on merch by amazon or even redbubble i have two courses that i'd recommend that you check out on udemy so this first one right here merch by amazon for beginners a step-by-step -step beginners guide for mastering merch by amazon it's only actually it's on sale today for only 9.99 comes back comes with a 30 money back 
uh, day guarantee. So if you're not satisfied, you can just get your money back. Uh, but here's what you'll learn. It's about an hour uh, long worth of content, 16 lectures. I teach you how to cross niche, how to niche down, how to scale your designs, how to find trending niches. You can steal my best evergreen niches. I teach you how to check for trademark, how to keep your account safe, how to design design styles, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Loaded with a lot of good information. You can read the reviews. These, this course and the one that I have for Redbubble, well, this one right here for Merch, I'm going to show you how I get sales like this right here on a daily basis. And actually, actually, while I was recording this video, I got, I think, three sales right here. So now I'm buffed up up to $65 for today, which has kind of been my average for this month. So I'm on pace to do $2,000 for the month, which is pretty cool. So in these courses, I'm going to show you how or the strategies that I take in order to get these types of sales. So if you're if you're new for Merch on Amazon or on Redbubble or you're just struggling to get sales, take a look at those courses. They're definitely going to help you out. Um, they're good for beginners or for people who are struggling to get sales. But that is going to be it for the video. Make sure to, to follow me on Instagram. I will post my daily sales on a regular basis. And also make sure to check out my youtube channel subscribe i have a whole bunch of more videos there about other niches i've been putting out a video almost every day i'm almost monetized i've been working my butt off grinding uh, putting out uh, videos on a daily basis you guys have seen it i want to thank everybody so much that has been uh, supporting me liking the videos commenting commenting i love reading your comments i will respond to every comment so make sure you comment on this video let's connect let's get to know each other um, and that's going to be it so thanks so much for watching wish me luck it is 10 minutes to 6, and I think the rain has stopped, so maybe the hurricane has maybe died down. We will see. I might actually put up some hurricane content, um, just so keep an eye out for that. But that's going to be it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.